So this question says, in triangles ABC and DEF, angles B and E each have measure 27 degrees, and C and F each have measure 41 degrees. Okay, so that should mean that they're it's basically by saying these two triangles are similar triangles. That's a very interesting way to put it. But I'm going to draw two triangles. So I'm going to call this A, B, and C. We were told that B is 27. And we were told that C is 41. Which means we can figure out what choice A is, or angle A in a second. But I'm also going to draw triangle... D, E, F, where we were told E is the same as B at 27, and F is the same as C at 41. Okay. The next part of the sentence says, which additional piece of information is sufficient to determine whether triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle D, E, F? Okay. So I think we have enough information to know that angles A and D are the same, right? Because all three angles of a triangle must add up to 180. We wouldn't need to be told that. But in order for two triangles to be congruent, not only must their angles be congruent, but also their side lengths also must be congruent. So um, let's see. Choice A says the measure of angle A. No, I don't think so. Like if we have the measure of angle A... That would tell us at minimum the two triangles are similar, but it would not tell us whether or not the two triangles are congruent. So that would not be sufficient. Choice B, the length of side AB. If I just knew the length of side AB here, right, if I knew this was X, that doesn't tell me anything about the other triangle, right? So I'm not a big fan of that being sufficient for congruence. Choice C, the lengths of sides B, C, and E, F. Interesting. Well, if I knew that B, C, if I knew what B, C was, let's call it Y, and I knew E, F was also Y, now that would be important to know because I already know all the angles are the same, and that would be enough to tell me that all the sides are also the same. But this doesn't say that they're exactly the same. So I don't know. I'm kind of iffy on this one. Choice D, no additional information is necessary. Hmm, I don't like that at all, right? Because I need to know something about the side lengths. I can't just say from the, sta the status that we have now that these two triangles are congruent. So out of the options, choice C is the best answer. I wish it would have been written a little bit better um, and said that the lengths of sides B, C, and E, F are congruent to each other. Um, but either way, it's definitely better than A definitely better than B, and definitely better than D. So C has to be the best answer for this question.